If you like the music in today's video, be sure to check out Bullets and Bronze's YouTube channel for more. Greetings Pallian housing enthusiasts! Welcome to today's video, where we will be going over the Winter Lights Red Present, which I am excited to announce is the first item to have all three major surfaces on it, ceiling, ground, and wall. At this point, some of you might be asking yourselves, what exactly does that mean? Well, to put it simply, it means that almost any item in the game can be placed on this item. For the current list of what can't be placed on it, please see the description for the link to my spreadsheet. Oh right! And before I forget, for anyone who hasn't found it, the Winterlight Seasonal Shop is located here, behind Zeki's shop. Now, let's show you how to use it. I'm sure we've all seen this message pop up. Up until now, we used to be confined by a set of rules of where an item was and wasn't allowed to go. But now, with the Winterlight's Red Present, that is a thing of the past. We can place planters on tables, light posts on shelves, And finally, we can have the makeshift clothesline inside. Oh, and something kind of silly, but really fun, is stacking tables. And remember, those are just some examples. Now this is where it gets a bit strange. If you put the present on a shelf, and turn the shelf upside down, you can place a ceiling item on it. And it doesn't end there. By far, most difficult to use but the one that has me most excited is placing wall items on it. Though from testing, some wall items attach to it easier than others. Both ceiling and wall items are going to need their own tutorials, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Next, I wanted to address what some might be thinking. What's going to happen when we fix it? I'm 100% confident that this is an intended feature. It falls in line with something a chef has mentioned on numerous occasions on the Pallia Discord server about the devs wanting us to be able to place anything anywhere. I don't know about you, but I think this definitely helps that goal. And lastly, what does this mean for the future of building? Well, it's our own game now. We're not confined to building inside of our houses. You don't need to buy rooms upon rooms. You can build a treehouse if you want. Be creative, let your imagination soar. The sky's the limit. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you liked it and subscribed. To support me, you can toss me a tiny tip through Ko-Fi. And also, if you haven't already joined the unofficial Pallia Housing Discord, best place to learn about all things glitching. Not to mention, you can share your beautiful creations with everyone. The links to Ko-Fi and Discord can both be found in the description. And a massive thanks goes out to Bullets and Bronze for making the music for today's video, and to Pallypedia for providing graphics. This has been a Tiny Dragon, making your Pallia dreams of virtual reality.